I have to tell you, I'm a big fan of Microsoft's PowerPoint. It's such a, a great tool for getting your message across, whether you're uh, trying to win a deal from a client uh, or even doing a, a presentation to employees. Well, I'm excited because we're going to take a look at PowerPoint in the Microsoft Office 2010 version. And I got to tell you that when I see people using old versions of PowerPoint, I'm like, you have to get the newest one because it does so much more stuff. Well, the nice thing is that it makes it so much easier and there's so much more flexibility with it. For example, a big thing for me is that I typically work on, believe it or not, multiple presentations at the same time, you know, different versions. And uh, now you can actually have multiple presentations on multiple screens at the same time, which uh, is a huge thing for me. So for example, right now on my laptop, I've got this hooked up to an external monitor, you know, albeit a, a giant one, but you can see I've got one presentation going here mm -hmm. and I've got a secondary presentation going on that one as well. So it's nice because I can now cut and paste, you know, different, uh, you know, pieces of text and, and even uh, images and, and video between the two. And this is important because if you're in business, and I liken this to sales, often what you do is you create different presentations for different customers. So it's great when you can work on uh, different versions of it at the same time because then you can just edit them slightly uh, and be more productive. Another feature that I really like in the new PowerPoint is uh, working with the video. Well, video makes your presentation so much more impactful. You know, it's a tool that we all have access to these days in a number of different ways, both online and on your hard drive. So we're going to show you how you can actually incorporate it into your slides. We go up to the insert menu just like before, uh, but now we've got a few extra options here. I can get the video file right up onto the uh, presentation, size it down. It's our TV show. It's our TV show. You can see I've got the video controls uh, right down on the bottom, so that's uh, a nice feature, and that uh, control system also comes up when you're actually doing the presentation as well. But up here, we've got playback, and this is kind of cool. A lot of times you're working with a video, maybe it's like five, 10 minutes long, but you only want like a, a little piece of it. So there's a few different ways uh, to actually work with that. You can go in and physically trim the video. So it's got some basic video editing features built right into it. You can also add bookmarks to the video, which makes it a lot easier to access that content. Too. And I like the fact that we can do it here without having to go to a video editing program and figure all that out inside there. Well, it saves a lot of time. Uh, another quick feature here, you can also get videos from a website, which is kind of a cool thing. Maybe you've got uh, some YouTube videos that you want to show. So right on the YouTube page, a nice feature is you can click the embed button mm -hmm. and it'll pop up an HTML code that'll allow you to embed that right in your PowerPoint presentation, which is kind of a, a neat feature. So I uh, basically paste it in and hit insert and there is my uh, video window. So now uh, when I want to go play that, I can hit a little preview there. That's cool. And it's just like basically looks exactly like it would on YouTube or in a web page. It has that play button right on there and you can even see the little YouTube insignia in the corner. They've also uh, redone the file uh, menu, and they uh, basically call it Backstage. This is really cool. There's so many powerful tools now uh, that you can use to actually share your PowerPoint. You can actually create a whole video of your PowerPoint. You can narrate it if you want to. You can select how long the slides are up there, and once it's done, it'll export it, put it onto a CD or a DVD that you can play in a DVD player. I can also uh, broadcast the slideshow. This is uh, fantastic. It'll give me a, a link that I can cut and paste and send in an email. And so people who then receive that can watch this PowerPoint uh, over the web. Well, I think the way you can share it with so many people is important because you can make a great presentation, but you want to be able to get it out there. The fact that you can publish it to the web, make DVDs, create presentations on screens, or multiple screens, I should say, is a great thing with PowerPoint. Well, we've only been able to touch on just a few of the new features. If you want to find out more info, they've got uh, a lot of uh, great information up on their website at www.microsoft.ca slash office.